sitting in my bedroom <laughs> playing Isaac and all I can hear is uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh in the hallway and then you come out here and all I can hear is bye, bye, bye. <laughs> There's no cars. Who are you waving bye to? Well, people walking past. People are waving to people and they're waving back. Okay. Say goodbye. Bye. Look at that finger. Middle finger. Bye, Mama. Bye. Bye, Mama. Bye. You look very cute today, miss. She's cute. That's right. She can have a nice crack hanging out. So she good. loves the wind. Bye! Bye bye bye! Look at, that, look at this little pudgy sticking out here! <laughs> Hello Zaza! What's going on? You have fun out here playing in the wind! <laughs> oh, here comes a car! Here comes a car! Ready? Okay. Oh, here comes! Oh, yeah. Bye! Bye! Oh, here it goes! Ready? Bye! <laughs> Bye. Hey guys, so good morning. Hello, good morning. Oh, Jaja, what are you wearing? Those shorts are the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh, look at you, your little shirt. Oh, what's with that little leg kick? Okay, so hello, good morning, guys. It's actually afternoon now, but we will overlook that for the simple purpose that I'm feeling really good right now. I would like everyone that watches the vlog to do a bit of a social experiment. Now, I know that we have a wide age range of um, viewers. Like, I know that, you know, Jay is, what, like 16, 17 now? Um, and then, yeah, we've got our more mature ladies. You know who you are. Uh, so, yeah, I want a bit of a social experiment. For those of you who drive, okay, say you drive to work or you're driving to the supermarket or whatever, Today, the most amazing thing happened. It made my morning so positive. I was driving, like, I had to drive half an hour, 40 minutes odd, um, to shopping centre because Yasmin, who views the vlog, um, is in uh, Melbourne, visiting from Hawaii because she grew up in Melbourne. Um, we've become friends and everything like that. So I went and hung out with her today, um, met her daughter and her husband and mum and stuff. And I'm going to her birthday party tonight with Mads. So I will be filming. I hope she doesn't get like really uber like shy or embarrassed or something. I hope she doesn't mind. But yeah, if I can film, then I'll film. But yeah, anyway, cut the shit, Anastasia. Damn. Driving there. And I, uh, when I was younger and I rarely seen my dad, uh, he was a sound system freak. Like whether it was his car or whether it was his home entertainment system, he played his music so loud that um, I was just a literally and I've got partial deafness in both my ears. So I don't have 100% hearing, uh, so that automatically made me play my music louder the older that I got. So now I will blow the effing speakers <laughs> if I have to. Um, I know the difference between good good loud and oh man that is really bad like you need to turn it down a couple of decibels but um i will push it to as high as it can go to really enjoy my music tanner can listen to his music soft nah i can't do that i don't i don't get the full experience out of my music so if you are a low listener of music the next time you're in your car and you're driving somewhere i want you to have a cd prepared or a you know your ipod or your phone or whatever and I want you to play a playlist of songs that you absolutely love that just make you happy and positive or get you going or whatever. And I want you to play them a bit louder than you would normally play them. And then I want you to take it the extra step and I want you to rock the shit out of that music. I am a subtle air guitarist, full-blown air drummer like award-winning air drummer and um you know i'll sing and i'll dance and i don't give a shit like i'm not one of those girls who pull up next to it the lights and they're like oh my god oh yeah i love this song no i am performing a concert in my car so i would like you to take that experience and share that experience with your fellow drivers in the vicinity because today um, normally, I don't look at the people around me or whatever, but the amount of people 
that were next to me at the lights and then just looked over and saw me doing whatever I was doing or just playing the music really loud with my windows down, mind you. Um, and the positive response I got was just ridiculous. Like, it wasn't like I had people smiling at me and, and like nodding their head in acknowledgement or whatever. I had people tapping their um, steering wheel and sort of bopping their head or whatever in tune to the music that I was playing because they either weren't playing music in their car or mine was completely <laughs> like drowning theirs out. I had one girl actually wind down her window completely and be like, hey, who sings that? And I'd tell her whatever. And then I was listening to the Foo Fighters song. What is it? Um, I got another confession in me. The best of you. Someone getting the best, the best, the best, the best of you. That song. It was so loud. And I was just banging the shit out of the steering wheel. And the, <laughs> at the lights. And I had this guy wipe down his window next to me. And the driver looks forward and he'd be about 25. Um, cap on with like skulls and shit on it. Full neck tattoos, face tattoos. He goes, yeah, I fucking love that soft shit, man. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, next time you are going somewhere, whether it's to work, supermarket, picking up your kids from school. Um, going to the shopping center, anything, play music a little bit louder than you normally play it, um, you know, and really, really get into your music, just like, you know, do your embarrassing dances, do, you know, your air guitar and shit, I know that you do it at home, so bring it to public, and I bet you will feel a whole lot more positive whenever you reach your destination, because, yeah, I always do, so it helps, and let me know what happens. Trasha's in a room playing by herself. She keeps herself so entertained. She just plays with all her toys. <laughs> she just goes through them one at a time. Hello, Trasha! Sorry for interrupting. I just had to get how cute you are because you're playing with all your toys. You playing with who? <laughs> See you in the morning! Got wind chimes as well. Careful, you hit yourself in the face with one of those. Careful. Having fun, are ya? What do we got? What's this one? This one, make this one work. Are we gonna stomp it? Stomp. Stomp. Uh, not working. Oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> it's so excited. I'm recording. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> you were a bit smashed, but it's okay. Love you, Anastasia. Thank you for coming. Oh, you're welcome. We're at... Well, we can't kiss the bottle too. Oh, yeah. You have to say kiss the bottle. Kiss the bottle. <laughs> now, how do you say it? Kiss the bottle. <laughs> So yeah, we're at this really cool place called Naked for Satan, and it's naked in the sky. Look how beautiful this is. I'm having a flashback of like, I'm far away from So I put together the green screen because yeah, as you know, I haven't streamed in like nearly two months because I had the whole lead up to going overseas and I was overseas and I've been back um, roughly two weeks now and I'm doing all Christmas stuff and whatnot. But finally, in the next couple of days, I'm going to be able to start streaming again, which is awesome. Uh, so yeah, I put together the green screen and it's kind of big. Now, my previous green screen was two pieces of cloth nailed to the wall of the previous house that we lived in. This green screen is kind of a bit more on a professional scale full on like support frame and everything like that. But seriously, this wall here, it's about two feet from the edge. That wall there is about four feet. The damn thing is like seven, eight feet wide. It is long, it is as long as my bed. It is longer than my bed. Cause look, my bed ends. Don't worry about all the mess, that's all the stuff. Look, my bed ends there. It is huge. But my god, does it look good though on, on, on stream. I did, um, because in the program that I use to stream, you can do preview and you can see it. Even in its unironed state, with all the creases and stuff, this singular light here, 
really, really good. I'm talking really good. Now I've got my other light over there. Uh, the only problem is that obviously I can't leave it in that state there. Now the idea is that I was going to have it up because I didn't know this was before I knew how big it was. And then when I wasn't streaming, I was going to like pick up the frame and put it in my closet. And then when I was streaming, I'm going to bring it back out and have it in that position that it was in there. But because it's kind of big, I'm going to figure out a way to be able to put it in my room somehow <laughs> without having to move it. What I'm thinking is moving that bookshelf over to that wall there, putting this frame along there, and moving my bed, so instead of my bed being that way, we'll put it this way, and then my computer desk here. It's going to cut down the size of my room dramatically, and it's going to make getting in and out of bed very awkward, but if I want to take streaming seriously, I need to be able to position the lighting in such a way that it actually works. Because I can't just leave this here because it's just like it's we're not partitioning my room off from yeah so I don't know I have to work it all out but um needless to say the green screen's up and it's ready to go if there's some trickery and I can figure out how to use chroma key in Sony Vegas I'll try and take this out right now the green backlight uh, the green screen and I'll um I'll, I'll try and put an image there. No promises here because, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. But, um, yeah, green screen's really cool. But on that note, I'm going to bed. I'll see you all tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching the vlogs. I hope you, uh, yeah, I hope you're enjoying, whether you're old or new. I say this every, like, um, few weeks or so, every month or so. Yeah, I do appreciate you guys sticking around and watching. It's good to have you, um, yeah, just good to have you in our lives even though we're in your lives because you're watching us and yeah I still read the comments every single day I love I love the interaction that you guys get and especially when you talk to each other that's really cool but anyway before I get too nostalgic ah oh, I'll show you this before I go there it's a little snowman that I drew because <laughs> why not it's Christmas anyway good night ladies and gents see you all tomorrow bye